Hi right, man, what is good YouTube man? It's your boy Crackman Stevie bro, and I'm back with another banger. Now listen, bro, if you don't know, I have a whole bunch of videos showing you know what I'm saying how to play every single character in the game. I'm probably going to be uploading three a day. So yeah, stay active for that. Now, which is pretty good right now. Finn is a free character, so I had to do friend for y'all. I'm gonna do the rest of these, but yeah, Finn is a free character right now, and I'm gonna show y'all what I, you know what I'm saying? I'm basically gonna show y'all how to play Finn. He's a really good character. He's a top tier character as well. So yeah, if you haven't already, bro, go ahead and drop a like in the vid and subscribe to the channel, bro. I post these videos daily. So if you want any other character, bro, go ahead and go on the channel. They're probably gonna be up by the time you're seeing this, but look, let's get right into this banger. Alright bro, now listen, when it comes to playing Finn bro, he's really, 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 really good and I want to give y'all everything on how to play his character, explain this to y'all as much as I possibly can, he's probably one of the best characters in the game, this guy is an absolute tank, this guy's moveset is crazy, you know what I'm saying, you could turn him into a spamming character if you wanted to, his slap is too OD, like I'm sorry, like it's just a fact, he's just broken bro, you know what I'm saying, so yeah, and also bro, his hitbox on his character is broken. Hence the reason why people, you know what I'm saying, if you're fighting, you know what I'm saying, if you're fighting a fan and you can't even hit him, it's because his hitbox is broken. But we ain't gonna get into all that. I'm about to show you how to play him. Now look, first I'm gonna go over his, you know what I'm saying, light attacks, whatever you wanna call this, bro. His, you know what I'm saying, his his attacks and everything like that. All his attacks is movable, which is even more broken, you know what I'm saying? Which is even more crazy. You can move with these attacks, you know what I'm saying, if you don't wanna do it off rip. These attacks is crazy. Now look, the first thing I want to tell y'all, bro, is his base square attack. You know what I'm saying? This is his little, his knockback move, if y'all want to call it that. All you want to do is tap square or X on Xbox. Really simple move. Or you can click R1 or RB on Xbox. And what's good with this move is you can move around with it and you don't ever have to stop moving. You can hold this as long as you want. You can literally hold this move the whole game similar to all his other moves and it does have a pretty high damage toll it just did 11 which is crazy but yeah that move right there is pretty solid now he does have a base and i'm saying normal and i'm saying boom 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 all you want to do is move to the left or move to the right and click square three times just like every other character has their own little base combo which is pretty solid in my opinion now along with this move is when you click over, you can move around with it and it boosts your speed, basically. And you can do this however you want to. You know what I'm saying? You can let it go whenever you want to. Save you across the map and you go, wow, it's pretty fire. You know what I'm saying? It boosts your speed and everything. So yeah, use that move. It's pretty useful. Now, the next move he does have is if you click square and down square, down square, bro. What you will be doing is this move right here. This is a pretty toxic move. You know what I'm saying you get two, you know what I'm saying, hits off of it. And I'm pretty sure that you can cancel out of it which not too many people know how to do yet but yeah you can dodge cancel out of it combo cancel out of it it's too crazy you know what i'm saying the move is crazy bro you can cancel out of it it's dirty now another thing you can do with the move going holding square and going down this does break armor you see the purple at the bottom of it or pink or whatever you want to call it this move also breaks armor which is pretty useful and all you can move around with it and everything bro and all you want to do is let it go i'm saying once you get up to them i'm saying it does a lot more damage if you're i'm saying up close it does two hits instead of just one so yeah if you can this breaks armor so if they're doing like a knockback or they have armor on their character in any type of way this move is pretty dirty and it does a lot of damage as well all right bro and his last you know what i'm saying up square move is this move right here basically just click up square or his little light attacks whatever you want to call it bro his last move is this one up and square it's pretty fire it gets you off the ground so if you want to you could you know what i'm saying throw his backpack in the air as well that's toxic you don't have to use no jump because you're already off the ground so look bam bam you still get the two jumps you know i'm saying you're not using nothing you're not using no jumps or anything like that. All right, now we're going to get into those aerial attacks right now, bro, which is pretty cool and everything like that. I'm saying he does have this little move right here, down and square. This is really, 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 really useful for when you're on the side of the map and you want to get rid of people. You don't want them to come back on the map or nothing, bro. You just want to finish them off. This move is great. 
know what I'm saying? This is not toxic or nothing, but it's a really good move. And it also does a nice ton of damage. You know what I'm saying? You do get attack DK for it, just like every move in the game. But yeah, this is a really good move right here. I recommend a lot of people using this move. All you want to do is while you're in the sky, click down the square or down an XY Xbox. It's pretty good. Now, his next move that he has is his basically in sky side attack or side narrow, whatever, whatever you want to call this, bro. It's a really effective move if you're in a if you're in the sky or anything like that. Use this move; it's really, really effective. No cap. I'm saying if they're on the side of the map and you just want to finish them off, bam. I'm saying if you don't have no specials left, bam, bam, bam. You can do this as many times as you want. Pretty fire, pretty fire. You know what I'm saying you can do it two times or once, whatever you want to do. I'm saying it's pretty fire. No cap. Okay, okay, his move is pretty fire when you're in the air, bro. It's pretty solid, pretty nice. Now, the last move that I want to tell you about while you're in the air with the square button is this move right here. Basically, socking people in the sky, if that's what y'all want to call it, or punching them while they're in the sky. It's really effective. All you want to do is click up and square, bro. It's really good of a move. This move can help you in a lot of situations, especially if they're at the top of the map and you have no super, no supers left. Or if you want to just add this in your combo, it's pretty solid. Now, the last move in the air is this little move right here. His little armor breaking kick. Pretty devastating. You know what I'm saying? Because it breaks armor from one little measly kick. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Pretty fire. You do get a cooldown, I'm pretty sure, for... I think it's I think it's uh, armor breaking. But, yeah. I think that's what the cooldown is. But, yeah. That's, that's a really good... You know what I'm saying? Attack right there. You can click R1 or LB. I'm an RB in the sky. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to always click square or X. Now, listen, bro. When it comes down to Finn, bro, you know what I'm saying? His specials are pretty unique. Bro. Now, look, I want to go over his neutral attack. I mean, his neutral special real quick. It's really devastating. I'm not, I'm saying I'm not going to lie. You can use this move to walk around with and you can slap people and knock them back pretty far. This move can KO someone at 100 damage, which is really useful. You know what I'm saying when it's fully loaded, it does way more damage. You know I'm saying right now, clearly it's not fully loaded, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you can also load this move up by doing damage and attack, but it's a lot better if you just load it up, if you just let it load up on its own. You know what I'm saying, but you can, you know what I'm saying, get it back a lot faster the more attacks you do. So yeah, you see that it's loaded right here at the bottom of this character. Bam, it does a whole bunch of damage and it's pretty fire. I'm saying to just to do this move, all you want to do is just click the, you know what I'm saying, the triangle button or Y button, whatever your special move button may be, or you can hold L1 or or LB on Xbox to do this move. It's pretty effective. I can't lie. All right, now when it comes to Finn's collection, bro, he has three different things. I'm pretty sure this one right here is a speed. It increases his speed. It's pretty nice. I'm saying it only costs 500 to get gold, you know what I'm saying? You mainly get it just by fighting people you see. You get gold while you're fighting and everything like that. I do have 3,200 right now, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, you do get these goals by fighting and just doing moves in general. So if you ever want to buy anything, it's really that simple. Now, the price does go up the more you buy it in a match. So yeah, don't forget that. So yeah, and I'm pretty sure after a while, it does go away. But for right now, clearly it's going to stay out a little bit longer. Now, the other two he does have is i'm pretty sure it's this one right here hold on let me go over this one right here basically increasing his defense look bro i'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna keep it a bug bro i really don't know too much what this move right here does i've been trying to figure out it for a past the past couple of days but i still don't know what this move does all right now listen bro with his other i'm saying down over over this move i'm pretty sure you can throw them which is pretty cool you can use it as a defense you know what i'm saying gives yourself super armor for a second it's pretty cool you can do this with you can do it other ways too you can use this little guy in different ways too which is pretty cool i can't lie all right now listen bro he has a set other you know what i'm saying specials or anything like that this move right here a nice little you know what i'm saying last whatever to the side basically knocking wonder woman out the park you know what i'm saying only thing different with wonder woman is you can keep walking but not only does this move hit people but it also blocks incoming projectiles yes incoming projectile this move is dirty i'm gonna show you all this real quick and look bro look, look 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 at this look at this wow you can block incoming projectiles with this move as well a lot of fin players don't even know this but yeah you can block incoming projectiles as well pretty useful pretty 
solid. So yeah, not only can this move project block projectiles and coming at you, you can also hit people with it when it, it does a I'm saying solid amount of damage. It's not too crazy, nothing too crazy. Now look, his ground upper special, you know and I'm saying whatever you want to call it, is this move right here. You can do this on the ground. I'm saying it's pretty solid. It's his little bag spin or whatever you want to call this. It works on the ground. Pretty fire. It's mainly used for in the air. I'm saying because it does a lot more damage to me in the air and it's a lot more useful in the air but you can also do his backpack spin on the ground just by clicking up and triangle when you're on the ground you know what i'm saying really simple so yeah click up and triangle bro and you can do his move attack decay hits in differently with this move so yeah be wise on how you use it now his second move you know what i'm saying which is i guess you can say his little teleport gem you can throw it by clicking down the triangle, similar to how Arya has her own, and you can teleport to it by clicking over and triangle or over and Y on Xbox, whatever y'all wanna call it, bro. It's pretty fire. You could throw this out as many times as you want. I don't think as many times as you want, but as long as you have gold, I'm pretty sure you can throw it out for a measly price. You know I'm saying it takes away 200, but as long as you have 200 gold, you can teleport to it as much as you want. You know I'm saying it's pretty fire. All you wanna do is click down and triangle, you know I'm saying, or down and Y whatever you know what i'm saying you're on you could teleport to it before it runs out clicking over and triangle that's why you're in the air now another one of his moves that works in the air is this one which is similar to this one i'm pretty sure I'm saying it does a nice little amount of damage all you want to do is click left or right and triangle while you're in the air pretty fire set you up for a nice little combo or something like that whatever you want to call it bro now the last move clearly is his up special which everyone knows about it's pretty simple, pretty pretty basic. Everyone knows about this, but it's his most annoying move as well. And that is his backpack in the sky, spin or whatever you want to call this. This move is pretty toxic, you know what I'm saying? It, it really gets annoying over a while, you know what I'm saying? Plus you could do it twice in the air, doing double the damage that you wanted to do from, you know what I'm saying, before. Pretty solid, you know what I'm saying? It boosts your opponent whatever way the backpack ends. It can go left, it can go right doesn't really matter any way you direct any way that you direct it to go it will go that way once you're done you know i'm saying for the final hit whatever you want to call it it's really useful probably one of his best moves whether whether you want to go left or right as long as you're moving in that direction at the end of the attack the backpack will finish over there so if you want to go left it'll go left if you want to go right it'll go right so it is completely up to how y'all play the game and everything like that but literally bro that just about is his best you know what i'm saying the best way to play finn how to play finn whatever you want to call it bro how to dominate finn whatever you want to call it that is just about all his moves and everything like that so yeah if y'all did find this video helpful bro go ahead and drop me a like and everything like that and subscribe to the channel bro if y'all want to see any other character there on the list and also i do have a perks video coming up for him and everything like that so go ahead and watch those when they drop but anyway bro like comment subscribe and i'm out peace